What have I done to my workbench? I'll tell you what I done did. Well, there's a couple things. I had a rainy day earlier this week, so I pulled the carburetor off and tuned on it a little bit more for the idle. I got it better. I didn't video none of that. I don't know why. I just didn't feel like it, I guess. And then yesterday I realized the new master cylinder I put on the truck out there is junk. So I had to pull this one out to get the bore size because I forgot what it was. And bought another new one because I can't remember where the heck I bought it from. Um, so today, that's one of the things I got to do. Put a new master cylinder on that truck. And the other thing I did is I pulled out the Model A. That's what I did. Now that thing needs to be cleaned up and it's, I'm going to sell it. That's what I'm going to do. Had to charge my battery. I think my battery's expiring. It's four years old or five years old, maybe. So I guess that's to be expected. Yep, I pulled this one in because I got to replace the master cylinder again. How do you how do you get this hood open? Look there, ain't even got rusty good yet. Hmm. I like this old truck. I like this old truck. But I think I have decided to replace it. It ain't got enough power to suit me. But I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to replace it with. I'm just going to have to show you once I get it. I guess we're going to let the, the little man, the young man, drive this thing. And... Uh, if you don't smash it up no worse than that, maybe we'll replace that fender. Because this is a good old truck. It does have a little bit of rust in it. Not bad, but a little. A little right there. A cab corner right there. That's a darn good workhorse. I put 3,000 miles on it already. The only trouble is, it ain't got no power. If you're gonna pull anything, it's pretty, it's pretty miserable. That cab corner ain't too good. It's a good work truck, though. It's fine driving around empty as long as you ain't trying to drag race nobody. I got that, I'm gonna take that to Virginia. But first, first I gotta have some brakes, you know? Gotta have some brakes. This thing got 21 miles a gallon on a road trip. About 150 miles or so. That's pretty good for an old three quarter ton truck. Alright, let me get to crack a lacking, as they say. Alright, Mrs. Heavy Chevy is gonna learn us how to bench bleed a master cylinder. Alright, go ahead. You better teach me before I learn you. <laughs> oh. Well, that's simple. You take this, something like a screwdriver and stick in there. Yeah. And then you gently, which is hard for her, push it all the way in and watch the little air bubbles come out. All right, go ahead. It takes a little muscle, though. Well, that's what I'm afraid, and I ain't going to be gentle. Bang! Stop that. It's not even moving. Push. I am. See the bubble? Push, girl. That's what you're trying to do. Now do that until the bubbles stop bubbling. You gotta go all the way in. Look at her shaking. There. Keep doing that. You gotta do it like 10 times or 20. If you do it too hard, it'll squirt you in the eyeball. Well, you got glasses on, so it'll be all right. Notice how the level has dropped in the reservoir. Do you know how to spell reservoir? Reservoir, yeah. R E S I. 
You can use your fingers if you want. V. How does that have anything to do with I don't it? Know. O I R? Probably. It's <laughs> me to spell words you can't even spell. Ain't that how it's done? If you don't know, you ask. Oh, okay. Remember that the next time I'm asking questions. Remember that. You didn't ask too many questions. What? You asked too many questions. Mm, I don't sound like that. Sound, I have a much more manly voice. You asked too many questions. Yeah. I turned the music off. She's still singing. So I got the master cylinder installed. Now guess what, babe? What? It's your favorite thing. Not the breed the brakes, bleed the brakes. Bleed the brakes, sorry. Can you spell brakes? Yes. And uh, anyway, reservoir, I, instead of the I, it was an E. So okay, but how do you spell... -E -E that's water under the bridge. Water under the bridge. How do you spell brakes? B-R-A-K-E-S. Absolutely correct. I see a lot of times when people make a post about something, they spell it B-R-A-K-E-S. E A K S. That's, That's different. That's kind of a break you take when you're working hard all day. Or some people just take a break all day and don't Still, get to the working hard that part. Too. Once again, you did a fine job, baby. How many times have you done that, do you think? In how many years have it been? 32 years? You don't look 32. No. A, rob a cradle robber. So are you. Terrible. I'll fix it, don't worry. It's break you know, somebody asked me on my Mr. Heavy Chevy Facebook account, they said, how did an old man in overalls get a girl like you? And I said, I was driving a Pontiac and I wasn't old and I didn't own any coveralls. <laughs> See, what it is, I've been out working hard. She's been having the easy living, staying home. <laughs> you think it's easy for driving you around, <laughs> Driving around in Cadillacs and Mercedes. She did drive around in a 72 Olds Cutlass for a long time. A long time. Missed that car too. Oldsmobiles are pretty good cars. It was a good car. One time, she said, oh, I forgot to tell you, there's a red light on the dash. What? I said, really? What does it say? She said, I don't know. It says TEM or something. I said, that's a temperature light. She said, it only comes on after you drive it a little while. So I went out and looked, put some water in the radiator, and it run out the water pump about as fast as I could pour it in. I said, how long has this light been on? She said, oh, I don't know, a couple weeks. I did not say that. Not I don't know. a couple weeks. I don't know. I don't remember weeks. the motor. So I put a water pump on it, and it didn't hurt it. It run fine. Luckily, Walmart was close by when we lived there. You know, when I did meet her, the first time I met her, I can't, I think she was... I saw her in town at the gas station is where it was. Across the street. And I was Firebird. and I was driving, what was I driving? Um, a blue Firebird. A blue 1980 Firebird. It was a cool car, wasn't it? Yep. You saw that first. Every race you... So you saw that before you saw me, right? Absolutely. So let this be a lesson to you, young man. 
Don't be driving around in boring cars. You gotta have cool cars. I won't really tell you what captured it. He's believed it's been the car all these years. Well then what was it? What could it have been? Your eyes. You couldn't see my eyes across the street. No, but when I met you, I was instantly attracted to your eyes. I feel all gooey now. <laughs> I have to I have to agree with her. I that's that's the first thing I noticed about her too is her eyes. <laughs> or maybe she said my eyes are up here. I can't remember. <laughs> but what was funny was I was gonna say this. She had this poof this, Oh stop this poofy hairstyle. <laughs> it was a poof that went like that. Of course, that was in what, 1990? 90... 92. 92. 93, 94, or something like that. I don't know. No, it was 92. You had just graduated. Hmm. Hey, you're starting to tell people how old I am. <laughs> Shh. I asked her what we we're going to work on next. She said it had to be her car. Next, she's going to want me to finish painting it. Yes, in due time. Get it's getting about time. The temperatures are getting about right. I saw a robin earlier today. Spring is in the air. Yeah. So, when the temperature is about right, I need to paint that. Should have a holicle. Let us know when spring is around the corner. That's right, you will.